Welcome back to Web Cafe AI where we do daily ChatGBT videos. In today's video, we're going to look how to use ChatGBT and Apalka's API for stock and crypto trading to develop a fully automatic bot when it comes to ChatGBT trading stocks. To start off, go ahead and click the link in the description below. And I want you to go ahead and sign up for Apalka here. And that is going to be essentially the API. And that's what's going to give us access to be able to trade either crypto or stocks and the different markets. All right, perfect. Once you have done that, go ahead and add that to your Zapier account. And if you're not familiar with Zapier, go ahead and watch that video on the top right. That's going to show you how to implement Zapier and ChatGBT together so you know how to utilize it in this tutorial. But all you need to do in this context is you're going to be able to add it by going to My Apps. And then you're going to go ahead and search Alpaca. And you'd add Alpaca right here, just add connection. And then you're going to want to go ahead and add ChatGBT as well. And then once you have both added and connected, and like I said, go ahead and check that video up there if you've not done that yet. Go ahead and go to your zaps and let's go ahead and build out a zap that is for YouTube. And that is going to be our stock trading zap. As always, you can find the Zapiers in the description below. So if you want to go ahead and copy this Zap into your own portfolio, go ahead and check that out in the description below. But let's go ahead and start today. We're going to do trading and we're going to do uh, GBT plus stocks. Obviously, as you saw, this API is access to crypto as well. But in this context, we're going to be just using it for stocks. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make a simple trading bot here that essentially looks for news, uh, new uh, new stories that have just been released and then gauges it from a scale to 0 to 100 and based off the number that it deems based off the article. So let's say that it deems it as uh, 50 out of 100. Let's go ahead and sell the stock. If it deems it as 80 and above, let's go ahead and buy the stock. This will make more sense as we dive into it. First step we're going to want to do here is get an RSS feed. Specifically, a RS feed that gives us new news stories that are tailored for stocks. So let's go ahead and check that out. To do that, we're just going to search in stock RSS feed. And basically what RSS feed is, it gives you access to live news story data, also stuff like podcast. For this video, we're going to go ahead and use Market Watch. And as you see here, you have all these different news feeds. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to just do breaking news bulletins as we're kind of looking for new stories that just dropped and then ChatGBT can deem whether it's a good trade or a bad trade. So go ahead and copy the RSS feed and go back to Zapier. Let's go ahead and paste those to the event of a new item in feed. So in this context, it would be a new article. We're going to paste the RSS feed that we just got. And just for your reference, when looking for RSS feeds, as you saw in the previous search, there's a bunch to choose from. We can kind of dive into that real quick. Let's go ahead and check out other RSS feeds you could possibly choose as you know the amount of data that's given depends because obviously some websites have you know either you know a sign-in wall or a paywall obviously we want to look for websites that don't have this so you have access to the most amount of data available so for our sake here if we were to search we can go ahead and check out all these different rss feeds and the reason i bring this up is because the market watch one is pretty um general when it comes to the type of uh, news stories that are occurring but as you see the nasdaq rss feed you can do ipos you can do markets you can do option stocks cryptocurrencies commodities a whole plethora of different rss feeds so maybe you want an auto trader bot that's basically news stories for etfs there you go you're going to want to grab this rss feed and kind of go from there but without further ado, let's go ahead and continue from Market Watch RSS feed and build out a trading bot with ChatGBT. So you're going to go ahead and test this trigger. And then essentially what it's looking for is a new item in the feed. And for example, we have a new story about Bed Bath & Beyond uh, filing bankruptcy. Obviously, from the headline itself, we can tell this is pretty negative news, possibly a good short that could occur here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and grab ChatGBT. We're going to grab a couple things. We're going to go ahead and rename this for ticker. And we're going to go do conversation, continue, and we're going to say based on this article uh, headline, we're going to do semicolon parentheses, and we're going to put it in the title here. We're going to say generate the stocks ticker, and then we're going to do just the ticker so there's no extra information here. And we're going to just go ahead and up our model to GBT 3.4, uh, sorry, 4. And then from here, I'm going to put in our memory key. Think of the memory key like the UI when you're talking to JavaGBT. It's like a new chat, but it saves the previous data so it understands what it said before plus how the output is structured. So in this context, we're just going to do a memory key of stock. And let's see if this works. If it doesn't, we can go ahead and fine-tune our underlying message. 
All right, so it came out with the ticker of BBBY. Let's go ahead and see if that is accurate. As you see, that is accurate. So we have our Beth, Band, ah, Beth Bath and Beyond, if I can speak, stock here. And as you see, we um, the news probably came out earlier today, but we know it's really taking a beating right now. So then from there, essentially, we're going to go ahead and do a couple things. We're going to do another chat GBT block. And we're going to do conversation. We're going to go ahead and say, based on this article headline, semicolon, parentheses, and we're going to grab the article headline, and then we're going to go ahead and see if there's any other information we can grab real quick. Now, in theory, I could do another block here that would essentially be a web parser, and this would essentially grab everything that's found within the article if there is no uh, by wall or anything like that. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do it based off headline. So we're just going to do headline opinion or headline analysis. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and say, based on this article headline, uh, generate a score of between zero and 100, 100 being a strong buy and zero being a strong sell and because of the fact that this is a little complex we're going to go ahead and upper model here to gbt4 and then we're going to go ahead and fine tune our underlying chat to you are a stock expert and then we're going to go ahead and proceed with stock tip as our memory key so we can make sure we maintain our data within the chat and how our output occurs all right so as you see here given the company is filing for a chapter 11 bankruptcy and planning to wind down its business and see buyers i would give a score of 20. What we can do in this context is I could, in theory, leave this and have that much text. But because of the fact this is all automatic and all going in the background, you could have this as a debugging thing so you can kind of see why did it buy it and why did it sell. But the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just say, uh, basically add a parameter here. It says just generate the number score no text before or after. And you'll see why when we create our next block here. We hit that. We're going to hit continue here. We're going to change our underlying messaging because of the fact that we want different outputs and the way it's formatted. Let's see if this works. All right, perfect. So as you see here, we got a score of 15, which indicates a strong sell as we identified zero is strong sell, 100 being strong buy. From here, what we can do is we can add another block here and we're going to go ahead and add a very simple block. Well, not too simple, I'd say. It's a little bit of if else statement here. Um, we're going to do buy or sell, question mark. And we're going to do conversation, continue, continue. And we're going to say based off this score, we're going to do semicolon. And we're going to go ahead and grab the score that we just received. And then we're going to add a context block or context line here. Context zero is a strong sell for the stock. And 100 is a strong buy for the stock we're going to go ahead and say based on the score generate a an, an output of sell we're going to do quotation marks here as you see why we're going to need the exact word sell and the exact word buy for alpaca's api this is where you're going to be able to daily value with your score how um large you want your parameters to be when you want to sell so in this context we'll just say between zero and and 20 is a sell and generate an output of buy if and we're going to do this quotation marks again buy if the score is 80 to 100 so maybe we want to really tighten it we don't want to do any uh 70 to 100 we could do 0 to 30 we're going to say generate output of sell if 0 to 20 is the score and generate output of buy. The score is 800. We're going to up our parameter or up our model here to GBT4, where you're going to go ahead and to score test as our, and this could be a random 32 character string. Let's go ahead and see if this works. If it doesn't, we can mess around with it. Basically, we're looking for either the output of buy or sell, no text, uh, no other text being associated with it. Right, so as you see here, since the score is 15, which falls within the range of 0 to 20, the output is sell. Let's go ahead and add a parameter here. Generate just sell or buy no text B 
before or after. Let's see if this is sufficient enough. If not, we might need to add a 3.5 block here, which honestly wouldn't be that big of an issue. So we add one here to reset the chat here. And if I have to add a 3.5 block, that would be a good learning lesson. But we don't need to do that, right? Perfect. So cell is going to be the underlying thing we want to do here because the fact that the score is 15, which is pretty negative for the underlying stock. Perfect. So we have set up our uh, GBT uh, comprehension thinking on the underlying stock based off the headline. What we can do now is we can set up our alpaca block. Now, in theory, before I jump to alpaca, maybe you don't want this automatic. Maybe you want this sent to your phone. Uh, you want to send to a Slack channel. You want to send to your email. You could have this sent to your phone with a send SMS block, which essentially says, hey, heads up, you got a 15 score based off chat GBT analysis to buy or sell this ticker. So you can be a little bit more manual rather than automatic. But for now, we're going to do alpaca to make this automatic. So we're going to go ahead and say place an order and they continue here and we're going to grab our symbol or a ticker it's going to be BBY in this context we're going to go ahead not use buy or sell because we don't know we're going to go ahead and grab the buy and sell that was created here because that's the analysis being occurred and then from there you're going to want to basically put in a fixed variable you could in theory add another comprehension block here if the score is zero, set the quantity to 100, and now it's going to buy 100 stocks or sell 100 stocks. Or for now, we're just going to do a fixed amount of 50. But as you see there, the logic can occur where maybe you have you know, a 95 score. You want to make sure your quantity is 300. You can set that in a new chat GBT block here. Uh, from there, you can set your type. You limit stop, stop limit markets, and you can set your day. And just for a disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Of course, it's just simply showing you how to build a chat GBT powered trade bot. And from here, you're going to want to go ahead and see if you want true or false for extended hours. And from there, you can go ahead and test that action. And then obviously it's Sunday here where I'm from. So I'm not going to be able to actually execute this and put an order in. This news was earlier today as well. All right, perfect. So essentially what it would do in this context is it would sell 50 shares of BBY. In this context, I'd be shorting BBY. And then from there, you'd be able to automatically have an order put through based off the analysis done on a headline that just was a new item in the RSS feed that you chose. Really cool stuff here. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a full comprehensive video on setting up a more complex bot on this. Go ahead and like the video if you felt like you learned something here today. It really helps us out here at Web Cafe AI. But without further ado, go ahead and check out our other videos when it comes to daily chat GBT and how to apply that with your daily life or your business. And I'll see you in the next video.